It's Margo from Surrendered Pieces and it's time to thrift. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia and today I'm heading into Goodwill with my partner in crime to see what kind of treasures we can find. With Christmas just a week away, I'm sure that there's all sorts of inventory that's just waiting for me to get my hands on it. So join me as I grab a cart and head on in. Within seconds, the first rack immediately in front of my face had this amazing U.S. Army two-piece suit. It's a size small men's, but there was a tag on it from the cleaners that had a female's name on it. So it's perfect for either gender. I love me some camo, so for $2.99, this bad boy went in my cart. Y'all, an animal tapestry grandma cart on wheels. Have you seen anything so awesome before? It's in mint condition and I was drooling. I left it behind and I left this behind too, but this was a stunning Jordache vintage tapestry suitcase. Since it's Christmas time, I had to make a detour down the holiday aisle and there was nothing worthwhile. Fail. I did find this gorgeous set of antique dishes. They were in perfect condition, but I have so many dishes. Anyone who thrifts know that gorgeous sets like this are almost a dime a dozen, but these hand-painted beauties were absolutely stunning. Dishes and mugs are my favorite thing to thrift, but my least favorite thing to post and sell. But look how cute they are. I, it's my favorite aisle to go down, and they always end up staying in my kitchen or getting hoarded in my garage. I've had way too many shipping casualties, so I try to stay away from shipping delicate items as much as possible. It has to be something spectacular for me to make a compromise. Just as I say that, look at this piece. It's got hand-carved animals in the wood, and it's a lazy Susan. All these small wooden pieces come out, and they rotate around the side of the larger bowl. It looks like it's missing a bowl that sits on the top in the center, but it is spectacular and it's in great condition, so it's definitely coming with me. It was priced $1.99 for each individual piece, but the cashier gave it to me for $5.99 for the set. You can't beat that. The colors on this piece caught my eye. I probably should have gotten it, but I skipped it. It's absolutely beautiful and I wish I could read what it said on the back. It's probably why I left it behind, but someone got a good piece. It's really nice. After rummaging down multiple aisles, I found some more Christmas items. I think that this creamer set is so adorable and I also found some matching cups to go with the watercolor plates that I found earlier. Going around the corner, I also found some cups that matched the creamer set. So I reunited all the cups with their appropriate sets that someone else can buy them. Someone say ice cream? My neck turned so fast I had to check that out. I left it behind but turned the corner to find this awesome wicker side table. Unfortunately, someone had already bought it, but right behind that was this amazing metal old school desk. I don't know how old it is, and it wasn't in the best condition. It definitely has some chips on the sides around the edges, but it was super cool, and it was only $4.99. Old kid desk for $4.99, I was so tempted to buy it, but where would it go? I just have so much stuff and nowhere to put it kept going down the aisle to find this beautiful art piece and this really cute kids kitchen set. Unfortunately, it was missing a piece, but I think that some child will really love it for Christmas. Now the really fun part, the clothes. These vintage shorts were definitely an eye catcher. Howard Wolf, it was a skort. They are shorts with a flappy skirt front, kind of awesome. Then I found these beautiful floral silky polyester pants that are brand new at the tags by Misguided. These went home with me in the cart. I was iffy on these, but thought that it wouldn't hurt to get them. They're High High by Anthropology. Does anyone else like this brand? It sells really well for me, so I thought that I would scoop it up. These two was kind of questioning if I should get them or not, but they're free people and ended up taking them both. These jeans were super awesome. They were way bleached, way distressed, and really cool, so I think I took those two. These were ASOS. I thought that they were nice, but I left them behind. Over to pajamas. This two-piece set literally made my jaw drop. Fashion Nova came with short. Away over to another aisle, and my baby thought he found a friend. We got into a sniffing competition and a staring competition. And uh, sorry, baby, he's not real, but he's cute, though. 
After I broke up the puppy party, I beelined to the dresses because I spotted these gorgeous colors. And of course, it's anthropology. I pulled it off the rack and it's a 1X gorgeous maxi dress. Next to that was this Pelican H&M dress that needed to come home with me. Took them both, proceeded over to the shoes where I actually hit the jackpot today. These are C by Chloe and they were absolutely gorge. They're leather, snake, and awesome. Right next to those, I found these BCBG ankle booties that were absolutely eye-catching. They have this neutral leather, but a pop of neon heel that was really unique. Then there's these sock shoes by Vince that need a little cleaning, but they're awesome too. Blue velvet boots? Yes, please. Took them home. Over to the left, we've got two pairs of vintage Reeboks. Left them both behind, but snag these fringe booties. Coming home with me. Cute and cute. Didn't get the first pair, but these Minnetonkas are awesome. Brand new. These were also brand new, and I love the embroidery, but decided to pass. This USA Party fanny pack just makes me want to fist bump. It was a no for me, and so is this leather bag but these Nikes were brand new and came with me. Cashier only charged me $2.99 too. The sleeves on the Shein top was really great, but the rest was mediocre. These shoes were absolutely gorgeous, but the backs were mediocre. Too dirty, didn't want to have to clean that. This was an amazing Woolrich gem. Found this flannel top, and then I found this leopard print. They both came with me. Also stopped a minute to look at this floral sweater, but decided to leave it behind. This guy was interesting. I liked the detail and it was vintage, but decided to pass on that too. Then we have Jack's face and the North face. I love shopping for belts. Sad thing is I don't ever wear them and they don't really sell so well, but I do enjoy scoping them out and finding great ones when I can. And for $2.99, I did find a good one. I found a Tony Llama belt with a silver buckle and it was all leather and it had really amazing detail. So can't really beat three bucks. That went in the cart, it's coming home with me and hopefully it sells. I have so many jeans and definitely don't need any more, but I'm gonna peruse through the aisle just in case something catches my eye. And then this guy catches my eye. He is so old and seen better days, but that ugly face was just too cute and had to be added to the video. Speaking of too cute, this is Chauncey, and every time we go to the thrift store, I bring him down the plush aisle and he sniffs out his favorite toy. I buy him one thing and he's happy for the rest of the week. He wasn't a fan of Minnie, but he was a fan of this guy. With the happy camper on board, I thought it was time to make my way back to the front of the store and head out. Stop at skirts and find a free people and a Zara. Took the free people, left the Zara, and then found these amazing comic book shorts. Left those behind also, but they were super cool. I really couldn't stop looking at them. They were quite the conversation piece, but not that I want to have on my thighs or my crotch. Took home these men's ski pants that were in like new condition and this grandpa sweater that was not in new condition. Very vintage, very old, and very awesome. Passed on Nike, and as I was looking, there was a creeper that was looking at me while I'm shopping. Hello, Bob Ross, happy trees. This guy was Italian wool, and it was really beautifully made, and I probably should have gotten it. Banana Republic doesn't sell well, so I passed. Levi's, Cheez-Its, and a Bugle Boy. These are three awesome mentions that I was really excited to find, but I decided to pass on all three of those as well. Also passed on this guy. I love the colors, love the print, but decided it just wasn't necessary with all the stuff I got. Along with this one as well, Talbot's brand new with the tags. Love finding new stuff, but didn't need it. Just when I thought I was done, this is sitting there waiting for me to pick it up like a gift. Save the best for last. I think that meant I was done. So I made my way over to the jewelry counter. Last look around before I check out. I found a couple cool pieces, some Alex and Ani bracelets, some rose quartz, some beaded vintage pieces, but nothing that really turned me on enough to buy. Time for the worst part, time to pay. I usually hold up the line with my massive hauls and today was no exception. $155 later, I'm happy with my purchases and looking forward to getting these in my eBay and Poshmark store for you to buy. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Surrendered Pieces. Bye.